Hey guys, so I realized that I never even started this vlog, but I'm in Portland and I'm seeing one of my very best friends in the whole world, Cherie. So today's Thursday, we had a little working morning um, and we're about to go get lunch. We don't have like a ton of plans for the trip, but I'm just really excited. Colorado is like so dry and it's so nice to be somewhere that feels a little bit like winter. Um, so yeah, I don't really have huge plans for how this vlog is gonna go, but honestly, I just really want to document it for the memories, so um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to my little vacation. Um, let's go to lunch. Also, guys, just so you know, this is Blue, and he is a sweet little sausage child, and he loves snuggles, and this is Lady, and she is a queen, and she's tiny compared to my giant chunky monster boys. She is 5.5 pounds. Poopy's almost 20 pounds. So it's interesting being around a cat that could literally get murdered if my cat like threw his mittens at her. So yeah, that's the end. Cherie's house I look red because she has this incredible lamp that she got at a vintage store right like uh, an, estate sale. an estate sale that's why I look amazing is because it's a red light um but we're back and I didn't really film too much while we were out because I was having too much fun okay but I did go shopping and I got this beanie which I've wanted one of these like little I call them condom hats. They're not called that. It's like a beanie, but you roll it up a little, so it's just like a little cap. And it's mustard-ish color, but you can't really see it in this light. And I also got um, this skirt from a vintage shop. It's like 90s um, buttons in the front. And it's really beautiful. It's a little small on me, but we've d I tried it on, and I think... A tailor can fix it up for me and it has like a slit in the front and it's just this like let me get into better light and I can show you but it's just this like beautiful print I don't know how else to describe it it's just perfect so I got that and I got a few stocking stuffers that it's none of your business because Dylan might watch this and some cool prints these were eight dollars um, got an owl and some like soft renaissance women because why not? Like, look at that. I want to be her. Um, not too much shopping, but enough to make a dent. And, uh, we're gonna go take the dog on a walk and enjoy some rainy wintry evenings and then cook dinner. Welcome to 6 p.m. and we have just gotten ready and just started our day. Well, technically we started our day already because we played around at Shree's house and essentially just like reorganized her kitchen, which is like truly the most exciting thing that I could ever do. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was oh, so good. But. I was in pajamas until like mm, 4.30. So we're ready now and we're going to 
seaside we're going to the coast to stay a night in an airbnb and i'm so excited we have a few stops the best boba i've ever had in my entire life we're stopping there first so that way i have what i need emotionally which is boba and then we are taking an evening road trip to the coast and i'm so excited yeah i'm gonna do some cute little shots of the evening road trip and i'll show you the airbnb when we get there Okay, we have made it to our Airbnb, the Trade Wind something in Seaside, Oregon. And it is just the cutest, little, like it's not a hotel room, it's something far better. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just like a cute little like pocket of Seaside energy. It's all very Seaside themed and I just love it. So I'm gonna show you the place. So this is our foyer also known as the bathroom everything is seashells there is this is not a floor mat this is like stones in the ground as everybody needs in their life and then you have like all of these and this cute like sitting area next to the fireplace Outside there, you can't see it, it's the ocean. Um, TV, kitchen area, like, oh my God, this place is just the cutest ever, I'm so excited. I have nothing else to vlog, I don't think, the rest of the day, because it's dark out. The ocean's out there, you will see it at some point. Um, and so will I. But we're gonna go down to the beach now, I think, right? And let Poochie run around. Guys, they gave him a cookie. They gave the sweet baby a cookie to enjoy after his long trek. Would you like the cookie? Can you have the cookie? Of course you can. <gasps> cookie. Oh. was like unbelievably windy last night. Like winds up to like 60 miles an hour or something ridiculous. We thought the windows were gonna blow in on our Airbnb, but they didn't. And uh, I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 11.30ish. Um, but we checked out of our Airbnb and we're walking down to the ocean before we hang out on Seaside, get some coffee. We're gonna throw the ball around for Mr. Blue and then I'll take you along on our little Seaside trip. Portland 
but we're making a stop along the way so I can commune with the mossy forest. So nice and like cold and rainy and everything that you want when you visit the Pacific Northwest. So I'm happy. So this here This is Usnia, which is like considered the antibiotic of nature. It's really great for, um, like it's really antimicrobial and antibacterial. It's great if you have some kind of infection. Um, it's really powerful and it's not technically a moss. It's somewhere in between a fungus and a plant and uh, it's called a lichen and it grows kind of like fluffy on trees and in Colorado it looks really dry and wiry but in the Pacific Northwest it's like really soft and like mossy. And look up here, let's see where is it, it's like a big like tuft of it. Yeah, there's just a little fun fact about some herbal medicine that you can find in the forest. <laughs> It's time to leave. I'm so sad to be leaving Cherie in Oregon. I love Oregon so much, um, but I'll be back soon. Anyways, today's my last day here. Kind of, a half day, a morning, my last morning here. Um, but yeah, I'm packing. Cherie is out getting us some breakfast. And I think she has plans to show me her favorite bridge, which apparently is a like thing to know in Portland is what your favorite bridge is. So I'm really excited to learn what her favorite bridge is. Um, and I'm going to stop by a coffee shop and get some coffee beans. But other than that, that's it for the day. It's time to go home and see my babies and say goodbye for now. <laughs>